Hey, good evening and welcome to Cooking with Matt. Tonight is spaghetti, so it's Italian night. So I uh, hope you guys are ready. Uh, we're gonna make some spaghetti. Uh, I already got it cooking uh, because it is a little bit lengthy process. Now I will tell you again, put my hat on straight, uh, to, uh, it's always about quality of food. Uh, don't get cheap pasta. I know there's pasta out there, you know, for like 99 cents a box. Spend the extra money, maybe 50 cents or more, to get the better brand of pasta. And there's a bunch of them out there, so um, they are amazing. Um, also, the meat. Get a better uh, uh, level of meat. If you get the, the low end where it's, uh, you lose most of it, it's just fat, uh, don't get that. Uh, but remember, what you're eating, you're putting in your body. Your body's using it as food, and it shows on the outside what you're eating. So um, get a better quality of hamburger, I promise you. The taste is gonna be awesome. Uh, now, when it comes to pasta, uh, the sauce, I put the normal so uh, seasonings in there, uh, oregano, garlic. Uh, I have uh, um, some meat seasonings I put in there. A little Mrs. Dash, because a little Dash will do you. Um, and I let that cook and simmer, which it's been on the stove for a little bit. Uh, normally, you would, if, if you were gonna do it correctly, you'd let it cook and simmer throughout the entire day, uh, because then it'll just blow your mind. Um, if you use meatballs, uh, that's also good. But again, you don't want to just buy meatballs from the store. Get the meat, get everything in, in there, all the seasonings, a little uh, breadcrumbs in there, a little egg yolk and kind of mix it all in and hand make those meatballs. Um, because the cool thing is, if you make enough of those, you can use those for hoagies or sandwiches or grinders or whatever you want to call them. You make them sandwiches. Um, so when it comes to uh, Italian food, especially uh, the sauce you're making and um, the uh the spaghetti this is a meal like thanksgiving where you can have it for a few days uh it's always better the second third time you're having it which is really good um now i will tell you a secret uh when you're blending the the, the pasta sauce and the meat together and it, it's starting to boil or not boil but simmer boiling would be bad <laughs> uh it's simmering and it smells great when you first taste it and as, as a cook you need to taste everything and i do uh, you want to taste it because if it has too strong of a tomato taste or, you, you know, you can adjust that. That's your job. So my secret is I'll take a, a little bit of sugar and sprinkle in with the sauce. It will radically change it. It'll make it a sweet tomato um, uh, flavor. Um, and I've never gone wrong with that. Uh, and every once in a while, I want to be creative. So I've put uh, uh, honey in it sometimes. Honey was amazing in pasta sauce. Um, now when it comes to pasta, once you cook it, I always cook with like thin pasta, uh, just or angel hair because it's lighter, it's, it's thinner. Um, if I do the bigger ones though, that's a meal. If you get full on spaghetti or you get any of the bigger, um, uh, pastas, it, it, it that'll fill you up. Um, when I make ziti, it's usually a huge bucket and it lasts a good week, um, because there's a lot of it. Uh, but the pasta, once it's done and you, you got to constantly keep turning it, uh, in with the olive oil so it doesn't stick or get clumpy. But the big thing is you want to rinse it off in the sink. You will be amazed, if you've not done it yet, you'll be amazed by the amount of uh, the starch. It's going to be all white and milky colored. It's going to pour out from it. You want to get rid of that because that uh, is one, not good for you. Uh, and two, it actually binds the flavor of the pasta so you don't enjoy it. Um, so, uh, and remember, as all, all my shows I, I use, and I know this shows it backwards, but you know what? I like being backwards. Uh, Don has this new spray soap. And I'll even show you, look. Look at that. It's spray soap, and it's great for washing your hands. I have, I have one in the kitchen, one in the bathroom, and I now have to wash my hands. Um, but it's really, really good, um, and it's Don. Don cuts down on everything. Um, now, I do have my antibacterial soapy stuff that I also use uh, when I come and go throughout the day and if I leave the house for any reason. Um, but let me uh, bring the pasta over. It is looking really, really good. Now, the, I'm gonna tell you, um, when you have pasta sauce, you wanna, have, you wanna have the right tools. Have a pasta spoon, just saying. Right tools, if you're gonna build a house, you're gonna have the right tools to build it. So, now I also know another very key ingredient when it comes to having pasta of any kind is garlic bread. Um, I'll tell you, there is nothing like making your own. Uh, if you go to Walmart, you can do the same thing at Publix, but 
Uh, this is Italian bread. They sliced it, and it's fresh. It was made, well, that's today's date on it. Can't get much fresher than that. Um, the great thing is, you mix a little, a little butter. Now, that's another thing, butter. Don't go cheap on butter. Where are you? This here is the butter that I use. This is Lando Lakes. Um, it's real butter. Now I use, this has olive oil and sea salt in it, which is amazing. Um, I laugh because my mom wants me to buy this. My mom's part Indian, you know, like, oh, yeah, Indian. Uh, she's part of the Blackfoot Indian tribe, which means I'm like this much. So I can make fun of them a lot because I'm part of the family. Uh, I know Italian, French, Indian, I'm a big melting pot. Um, she thinks this goes to support Indians. I let her believe that. It's part of my comedy <laughs> when I do stand up. Uh, but this is really good butter. Um, but uh, I don't even know the name of the, 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 the Indian squaw that's on here. And it's not Pocahontas. I don't know who she is. There's, there's going to be something I'll look up later. But getting, re again, real, real ingredients, real butter makes a difference. Getting 99 cent um, uh, margarine, it's not butter. You can tell the difference in the taste. Uh, so putting a, you know, a few more cents into something is going to be more satisfying and also healthy for you because margarine is not healthy for you. Uh, that'd be like taking the oil out of your car and then putting it right back in it. It's, it's just blah. So um, also, when you're plating, it is very important. Hold on one second. I can smell the garlic bread's done. Give me one second. Oh, that looks awesome. Garlic bread. Oh, that smells really good. Um, when you're plating your, your spaghetti or your pasta, what's really important is how do you dish that up? Now, you can dish it in a regular plate. Let me just show you. You can put it in a regular plate if you got it. That's okay. But what happens is the pasta can slide. Uh, if you were a little kid, I've seen several times with little kids holding a plate of pasta like this and it's going to the table, it slides off. So that's what we, you know, you can have it in a bowl. Bowl pasta? Now, there are pasta plates. These lovely things have the lip around it. So if it does slide, it's not going to go outside of that. Or you go a little more advanced. You go to the pasta bowl because nothing has got to slide out. I've never lost a meal, as you can clearly tell. Um, so we're going to put a plate of some pasta. Because it's going to be good. Now, when you make uh, your pasta, you also remember, you want to season the water you're going to put the pasta in. A little salt, a little pepper. Uh, I put a little garlic in there. Uh, I'm very big on olive oil. Olive oil is healthy for you. Uh, it is so much better for you than, you know, Crisco uh, or the other wannabe oils. Um, so, once you get your pasta in the bowl, you come over using your... your uh, Italian meat the sauce, and it's up to you if you want to make it as thick or as thin as you want. I will tell you, uh, as I said before, I put a little bit of sugar in the, the sauce to make it a little sweeter, which is great. Um, and just when I walk tonight, I'll burn that sugar off. Um, but um, when you cook the meat, I know a lot of people will drain all of the oil off. Yes, drain oil. Do not drain all of it because that oil that's in there does have a lot of that flavoring that you've been putting in there with seasonings and things. So you want to keep a little bit in there so when you pour the sauce in, you can mix it all in. Now, once you get it in the bowl, it's up to you what you put on top of it. Now you can put, what I do, uh, Kraft has a three cheese blend. This is awesome. Uh, or you can put actually shredded cheese. I have that too. But tonight we're going to use a uh, three cheese blend. Now I will tell you this. I know they have different kinds, but the three, the three cheese blend is um, amazing. Uh, it is great when you want to have lunch you just you want to just cook some uh some pasta any kind throw a little butter on there and then throw this on there yeah blow your mind okay uh it is great um oh yeah just to show you that uh, we're trying to be healthy off our uh tomato plants today we got tomatoes these are way too tiny those my mom will eat those those are tiny but yeah pretty cool it's all about being fresh and healthy and uh you know keeping ourselves clean. So make sure you wash your hands. Now, uh, the proper way to plate this is when you have the, the spaghetti, the cheese, you always take two things of garlic bread and you wedge them right in. So it'll look a little like that. Look at that. 
Want to come over for dinner? We've got plenty. Um, but uh, um, when you are done dinner, you have to clean up the mess that you made. Uh, always take the pasta, put it into a Tupperware or a plastic container, take the sauce dump on top of it. The sauce will uh, literally seal it so that the pasta doesn't go bad, doesn't harden, because it, it can do that with air, um, and it'll keep it sealed. Uh, and it, it's all ready for you tomorrow when you wanna have lunch, to take a thing of tongs, go in there, grab some, put it in a plate, microwave it, and literally then just stir it in. Um, you know what? Oh. <laughs> I'm not gonna get in that fight, PJ. <laughs> um, so um, yeah, freshness counts. Uh, it, it, that's where the, the flavors come in. Um, you know, I know if you go to the store and you go, oh, all they have is the six ninety nine, you know, uh, left cheek butt meat. No, then go to another store. Do you know why? You deserve better than that. You deserve better than eating, you know, a leftover uh, cow butt. Um, so yeah, that's kind of it. Um, tomorrow is Saturday, so uh, we may be baking two things. Uh, I think I'm going to show you uh, what we do for lunch around here. Uh, the other thing that I think, I have not made a dessert with you. So I am going to uh, make homemade chocolate chip cookies. You're going to want to see that because I just don't go buy chocolate chips, not this time of year. I go to the Easter basket that's sitting there with three chocolate bunnies in it, and I chop that all up into, because it's chocolate. Uh, so these are uh, chocolate chip bunny cookies. Um, don't say it too loud because I have a puppet that's a bunny rabbit in the other room. They'll get very upset with me. Um, so um, uh, what I'm going to do is, is uh, good question, PJ. What about my diet? Actually, my diet is going very well. Uh, one of the first things you will learn on a diet is do not starve yourself. This is okay. Do you know why? Um, I'll post photos later. Half of the living room is a gym now. There's a treadmill, an exercise bike, I have an entire weight set. Uh, I take my dog out walking three times a day. Um, you know, and so it's all good. Um, you can eat what you want, still be healthy, enjoy it. Um, you know, the one thing we've learned with the crisis going on is life is short um, and uh, it's precious. So if there's a meal you want, have it. Just know that you have to work that off. And we are all at home with plenty of time to work everything off. So, um, yeah. So I'm going to have my meal. I uh, hope you guys have a great dinner. Uh, and, uh, yeah, make sure you wash your hands, stay six feet apart, and uh, have a great evening. From, uh, from Matt's Kitchen, have a great night.